We are going to further proceed with the centroid of lines, areas, and volumes. So thus far, what have we covered? Uh, we have found out that we can find the center of mass and the center of gravity. You also should understand that the center of mass is unique for a body irrespective of its gravity. In under a uniform gravitational force field, you can find a unique center of gravity. Now for a uniform body, we do know the center of mass and center of gravity lie at the same point. But once you start moving or your object has a non-homogeneous mass distribution, the center of gravity can change with respect to the center of mass. Now, what we are now going to further see study is the centroids of different uh, and unique structures such as lines, areas, and volumes. <coughs> Let's select the appropriate pen. Now, when the density, that is rho, of a body is uniform throughout it, it will be a constant factor in the body the numerator and the denominator of of the equations as you can see in the last equation uh, let me give you a recall right here this equation that is 5-3 in your book and will therefore cancel the remaining now why it will cancel as you can see there is a density up and down if eliminated because it is homogeneous now the remaining expression define a purely geometrical property of the body since any reference to its mass properties has disappeared the term centroid is used when the calculation concerns a geometrical shape only when speaking of an actual physical body we use the term center of mass if the density is uniform throughout the body, the position of the centroid and center of mass are identical. Whereas, if the density varies, these two points will, in general, not coincide. That is, again, what I have been trying to say. You have also have to remember that it is not only the gravitational force field that you are concerned about. It could be a magnetic force field, it could be an electric force field, it could be a force field due to centripetal force or centrifugal force. You can generate different types of centroids of your body based on different force fields. Now, let us focus on some of the few basic elements, such as line. Now, what is a line? Line is defined as a cylinder rod or a Y of length L its cross sectional area A and a density rho. The body approximates a line segment that is dm is equal to rho A, that is capital A cross sectional area times dl. Uh, if rho A and rho and A are constant over a length of the rod, the coordinates of the center of mass also becomes the coordinates of the centroid of the line segment. So this can be written as the expression. Which is, is which is right in front of you, as you can see, uh, rho and a are constant, they cancel up and down because they're part of the volume. So, the only thing that is changing in a volume is length, so dl over l. So, x prime becomes the center of mass for along uh, y axis, then corresponding x axis, and about z axis rotation. Now, this is a simple relation of area or line. Now, what about an area? When a body of density uh, rho has a small but constant thickness you can see a very negligible thickness we can model it as a surface area as you can see right here in the figure the mass of an element becomes dm rho t t means thickness rho t dA as you say density and thickness are constant again rho t will be cancelling out each other as a part of volume the only thing that remains is the area the mass of an element becomes dm uh, again uh, so, in order to find the centroid of this particular area, you know, uh, x times small area A rotating about y axis, then y times A rotating about x axis, and z times A rotating about the whole plane is rotating about the corresponding z axis, will give you or uh, will generate a small moment of that particular mass. Adding all these masses uh, will give you the centroid based on that particular axis. Now you have to remember if thickness starts to vary, the moment will change. This means 
okay, within the integral function, the t, t, t will come. If the density is changing, the t density factor will come because it is changing with, with specific position of z or y or x. Similarly, in case of line, if a area cross section area is changing of your wire, it can create problem for you. So for instance, if most of you guys will be using electric motors, the winding, if the constant wire winding is, the cross section area of the wire is not constant and the person who is, the motor is rotating, it can cause fluctuation or instability in the motors. So copper winding is also important. As you can see, a good quality wire would always have a constant cross section area for wire. As a result, your centroid will remain constant and it will cause Im minimal imbalances within the rotating object. Now, if we improve this quality, it is going to create a better rotation. Similarly, if we talk about density, if the copper density is not pure, copper is not pure, 99.9% .9 pure, this means there is a chance of variation in density causing the motor to become more and more unbalanced. Similarly, for cross-sectional areas, if you talk about cross-sectional areas uh, uh, for simple thin surfaces, you can have different densities, different hardnesses, uh, uh, and you can also have different thicknesses. This can cre create a different impact on centroid of the system. Now these calculations might seem simple but if we talk about your design of the project designs you will have different cross-section areas of wings, different thicknesses of wing plates and then you'll be using different uh, rods for different diameters to connect your fuselage with wing plants as given the project. Your corresponding centroids will be changing from area to area, span to span. The last thing is the volume. Now, for a general body of volume V and density rho, the element has a mass of dm is equal to rho dv. The density cancels if it is constant over the entire volume and the coordinate of the center of mass also becomes the coordinate of the centroid C of the body. Now, as you can see from the figure, uh, from the equation right here, it will become simply rho dv by v for x, y and z. So, you have to understand the, how to choose the element throughout the structure of calculation of the area. In order to, you have to do the principal uh, difficulty in, is to find how your area has to be moved and rotated to find the actual centroid. The order of the element is very important. Whenever possible, the first order element should be selected, preference to higher order elements. Now, this is important part then you need to have a continuity choose an element which has an integral over a continuous operation of figure 